Tina from Target Tamers. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm reviewing the Maven C2 7x28 compact binoculars. I have a lot to cover, so we'll jump right into what comes in the box, its strengths and weaknesses. We'll talk about glass as well. I'm gonna put a lot of the work on you to determine if the information I provide tells you if these compact binoculars are the right ones for you. So do your best to keep up. All right, it comes with a, a Maven neck lanyard, microfiber drawstring bag, lens cloth and instructional pamphlets. Now let's talk about glass quality. Why? I know I go on about this all the time, but without decent glass, these would be comparable to a really well-made kids version and that's not what we want. So what does this little thing pack in? It's packing a lot. ED glass, what is it? Extra low dispersion glass, compositional and optical elements within the glass that make up the prisms. Now ED glass allows light waves to converge on the same focal plane. What does this matter to you? Ultimate color fidelity. Really important for birders who want to be able to see true to life colors on their targets and identify species, things like that. Improves contrast, sharpness. So you're getting the works when it comes to being able to perform optically, even though it's a small binocular. Now, as you can see, it's a roof prism binocular. What I mean by that and how you can tell is that you can see that the eyepieces are right in line with the objective lens pieces. These have the Schmidt Pachan roof prism optical, pris optical design. So the only problem with that is there's at least one surface in there that is not inherently reflective. Manufacturers have to help those prisms out by adding a very thin layer coating. Now these have the dielectric coatings and you could consider those the gold standard for coatings of that type. Now that will improve ultimate light visibility from the objective lens out to the IP. So by the time it reaches your eye, what you're getting is a bright, clear image. And that's exactly what you want from a compact pair of binoculars. It also has scratch and oil proof exterior lens coatings, proved it to be very important for me and I'll tell you why in a minute. So let's jump right into a build quality. I'm not going to spend a lot of time here. It has the rugged armor that we expect from Maven with a polymer housing that gives it its 12.4 ounce weight. It's also waterproof, fog proof, um, excellent build for a tiny little pair. It does come with eye caps. They fit a little snug, but that's okay because it keeps dust and water from seeping in. It has what I consider an oversized focus knob, but that's okay too. As you can see, a silky smooth movement. I absolutely love it. Now the eye cups, if you consider all the way in, you have four multi-click positions. So all the way in for those who wear glasses, one, up two, three, four. Four positions, don't buckle under pressure, great. Now let's talk about the lack of objective lens caps. This is the standard across the board. Maven followed that trend. Uh, objective lens caps are just not included and that's a shame because for people like me, I cringe at seeing other people do it and especially when I do it, is consistently touching those lenses. That is where having a lens cloth or a lens pan on you while you're out in the field will prove to be invaluable to your glassing experience. Now it does not come with the integrated uh, tripod threading to mount directly to a tripod. That is the standard for most compact binoculars that really doesn't start until you have a binocular that starts at eight times power and up. So what you can do if you're serious about mounting it is by an aftermarket bracket, it holds it just like this. It gives you the opportunity to mount an adapter to it and then to the tripod. Excellent option right there for people like me who digiscope a lot or for those who have the jitters and handshakes and want ultimate, ultimate image stability. Oh, I do want to give you a pro tip here and that is how to attach the lanyard to the compact binoculars. It seems like the smaller the binoculars, the smaller the loops and it's, it can be really tough for people to be able to get those straps through. So I'm going to give you a pro tip right here. Hint, hint, get a bobby pin.
So let's jump right into applications. With a seven times magnification and 28 millimeter objective lenses, I can tell you right off the bat, this is not going to be your extended long range pair of binoculars. Where that will matter most is with Western plane hunting, even across large expanses of water for waterfowl hunting and for tactical and duty use. Now I did hand this out to a cop to be able to just give me his impressions on it. And while he felt that it was excellent for people watching, it just didn't give them the detail that they needed from their hidey holes. So maybe not the best option for those applications. Now I did take it to the range. It spotted groupings on shoot and see targets out to 100 yards and groupings on white out to a maximum of 50 yards. Now if you're using a rifle scope that has any sort of decent quality in it, you're not going to be using the binoculars and you might even be able to bypass using a spotting scope. Now where did it perform with its strengths? And that would be really any observational type of activity. I'm talking about bird watching while you're hiking, while you're out camping, sightseeing, watching wildlife from a safe distance, all of those things above and beyond performance for those applications. Because people are obsessed with seeing actual targets through the binoculars before they buy them at various distances, I went ahead and did that for you. We have 100, 200, 300, 400, and just as an added bonus, a shot at 1128 yards and that's the gas station sign right there. Now I'm going to give you the truth about the cons and I'm going to be talking about specifically collimation and the minimum focus distance. Now the minimum focus distance is a 9.8 feet according to Maven. I was able to focus for just a sh tad shy underneath that but it's pretty much spot on. Now, when I refer to collimation, I'm talking about the ability to see, you know, that one circle kind of thing when you're using both eyes through the binocular. And that is actually a kind of a tough thing to do, even with a really well-made pair of binoculars. You don't always have that true collimation, or sometimes it's only set for one IPD range. So I'm happy to say that with the Maven C2 compact, compact binoculars, you absolutely can achieve true collimation. That is the one circle with both eyes. Now, here's the catch where it dovetails into the minimum focus distance. At 15 yards and less, I was not able to get that one circle. What I saw was two circles trying to merge into one. Anytime I looked past 16 yards and further, no issues, true collimation, one circle, but closer than that, I was getting a merging of two circles. Okay, let's talk about price point. For $200 for a pair of 7x28 compact binoculars, it is not the cheapest compact binocular out there at all. So I could see why some of you would scoff at that price point, and they're consistently put up against Swarovski optics. Now, if I were to do the same, it would be up against the Swarovski CL 10x25 pocket binoculars. Now, there is really no way to know their glass sources and their glass processing methods. That is a highly kept under guard a secret trust me i've tried to get it out of them with no luck but what we do know is that both maven and swarovski impress, impress all of us with their glass quality but the mavens only cost 200 dollars and the swarovskis cost 900 to a thousand dollars but if you only want to buy one time at a reasonable price point and you're getting the quality and the warranty included with the c2s the maven 7x28 binoculars should definitely be on your shortlist to consider now, because I want to be completely transparent with you, I do not work for Maven. I'm not compensated from them in any way or form. Everything is my honest opinion, and it just happens to be my honest opinion that I love these compact binoculars. I also want to let you know that I have a bonus video out, and that is a breakdown of all the Maven binocular series. So you'll be able to go and compare the core differences beneath between each series to determine if this is the right compact series for you or if there are other larger binoculars that you might need for other applications like hunting and even duty use. So if you found this information valuable to you, please like and subscribe. I put everything into my write-up review where I'm really good at being long-winded and explaining things in great detail, so don't forget to check it out. All necessary links are in the description below. Thanks everyone, and as always, happy glassing. Till next time.